Welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. Now, summer is finally here, the Arga has been turned off and the air fryer has sprung into action. I've had lots of people get in touch and say, Charlie, can you share with us how you're getting on with your air fryer and things like that? So I thought today we would do an air fryer recipe. Ooh. One of our favorites, sorry, I'm not gonna mention her name, but she's just made a funny noise. Um, chicken thighs. So these chicken thighs are from the butchers. The skin is on them. And often if you buy chicken thighs in the supermarket, you'll get them with the skin on. You can cook them with the skin on. You can take the skin off. I thought I would just share with you how I take the skin off because lots of people are like put off buying things because of that. And you've just got to go for it. <laughs> get your hands involved. I have got a sharp pair of kitchen scissors too. These are kitchen devils. And I find Kitchen Devil scissors excellent, really good quality. And I find if you buy good quality, they last a long time. And, um, you know, like buy better, buy once. <laughs> Is that the motto? So you literally just like taking the skin off a chicken breast, just pull it off. But I find with chicken thighs, you do need to get the scissors a little bit involved too. Obviously, I have washed my hands uh, before doing this. And make sure your hands are thoroughly scrubbed and just pull the skin off like that. And then if you've got bits of fat still on there, you can just chop it off using your sharp scissors. And I just find these Kitchen Devils excellent. I have got another pair of scissors over there, which are pretty useless, and I just keep them um, for, I don't know, like wrapping presents and stuff like that. Um, so just trim off the fat. And then you can, well, I'll talk about that in a minute, um, but I'm going to marinate mine in this bowl. So I'm just gonna whiz through and prepare all of these it's also a lot cheaper to buy meat with the skin on chicken with the skin on so that is also something to be mindful of particularly skinned chicken breasts they're so expensive and i find um actually chicken thighs have more flavor they have great flavor so um you know that's something to consider as well Chicken breasts are all ready in there and I'm just going to crush some garlic cloves and I will leave um, a link to the recipe which will be on my website for you. So just peel your garlic cloves and I just chop them in half because it makes it slightly easier to crush. I love this garlic crusher and I will leave it linked um, below as well. It's just brilliant. Add in the crushed garlic. A couple of tablespoons of paprika. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil a couple of pinches of sea salt some freshly ground black pepper And then some parsley, don't worry, this is a clean pair of scissors. And I'm just going to actually really roughly chop the parsley in. And I'm going to add a little bit of lime juice just to give it a little zing. Just the juice of half a lime. And then give that a mix through. Make sure it's all coated in your marinade. And 
then I'm just going to pop a plate over and put that in the fridge for at least a couple of hours before you want to cook. You can even do it overnight. It, it depends, um, you know, on your timings, but at least two hours. Now you can use a freezer bag. You can use cling film over the top, but I'm trying to avoid throwing freezer bags away and um, using too much cling film. So a plate will work really well and just pop that in the fridge for a good couple of hours. Now the farrier has just left, so I'm gonna go up and turn the horses out. They've all had their feet trimmed or new shoes, what have you. So I'm gonna go and turn them out. I'm gonna take Lola for a bit of a walk um, while that is marinating and then we will get cooking. We've just turned the horses out, Lola beside me. And I just had to show you these quickly. I know we're supposed to be talking about chicken and the air fryer, but my pennies are just so exciting. The colours, pale pink, bright pink and white over there. Look at that. This is the first year they are blooming and looking, blooming fantastic, if I do say so myself. I've had to put you in the sink so I can get the right angle, but this is where my air fryer lives. And I bought it from Costco. My cousin has got a Costco account and I went for this model, the makers Sur La Table, and it has got jewel baskets, which I really, really liked being able to have that versatility and that option. So I'm just going to preheat it before I get the chicken into the air fryer. So we'll just press this. So I'm just using the left hand basket to begin with. So we will select that. It's on 200 already, but you can adjust the temperature here and you can adjust the time there. And I'm just going to press go just so it starts to heat up. And then after five minutes, I will put the meat in. So the air fryer has almost had five minutes of heating up. I have got my chicken thighs here that have been marinating and I am going to pop them in here in a few seconds time. So just pop, pull out the basket. I have got that um, sort of grill bit in place. You can hear, um, you can probably hear it, the chicken sizzle as I pop it in. And it is really important to heat up the air fryer. Um, and I just have got room in here for <clears throat> all my chicken pieces, like so. And then slide it back in and it will continue to cook. So I'm going to serve asparagus with my chicken because we've got an abundance of asparagus at the moment which is why I'm using it. I have just put a little bit of olive oil, a pinch of sea salt and I'm just going to put a squeeze of lemon juice on there as well. Give it a little bit of a shake and this is only going to take about eight minutes. I'm just going to heat up this basket now. Just heating that one up and then I will pop these in there for Lola and my feet. She's had a very nice walk, haven't you? And you just like to be beside mummy as much as possible. You can't see her, but she's just there. It's time to add in the asparagus. Just add that little toss. I have got different coloured tongs, which I find really helpful so I know which ones I can use on, um, you know, raw meat and cooked meat and things like that. And I just find that helpful. Just slide that in and leave that to do its thing. I could have adjusted the timer so it just had like 12 minutes heating up time and then eight minutes cooking time. But um, to be honest, I didn't want it to interrupt that one. So I'll just turn it off when it's finished. It's also very clever. It beeps and tells me when it's time to shake. So um, it's quite handy. We're almost.
almost done. I'm actually going to take the asparagus out now. Look at them. Just put those on here. Slide that back in, it will just finish cooking the last, uh, the last little bit. And there is my chicken, perfectly cooked. And then I just turn that oven off as well. And just like that, lunch is ready. I, um, I find it so easy using the air fryer. It really is um, easy and effortless. And actually, I quite like having the timer and then I know how long I have got. I'm actually going to have two pieces of chicken for lunch because I am super hungry. And I'm just going to serve it with some lentils. I'm just, oh, I've made a mess. Um, I'm just going like super, super, super easy lentils and asparagus. Um, and these are just herby lentils. I will show you what they are. They're my sort of quick cheat lunch. If I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to, you know, make something, these are my go-to. So they are the Merchant Gourmet tomato -y French um, pie and green lentils. And I just find them so easy. And then you can kind of dress them up. You can add mozzarella, you can add all sorts of things to them. You could serve them with feta, you could serve them in lots of different ways, but I think they're just a great, um, a, a great easy kind of go-to thing. And then I'll pop my asparagus on here and sit down and enjoy my lunch. So I was actually um, coming back to the office for lunch, so there is enough for both of us and there's some leftover chicken for the children as well that they can enjoy this evening. So that is my very quick air fryer chicken and an asparagus. And I just love having the dual basket because you can do two things at once. And that's why I went for this model. I know I've mentioned that before, but it's something when you're you know, making a purchase to really give it quite a lot of consideration. And I talked to quite a few people about it. I got lots of advice. My cousin, has raved about her one. She had a single basket version and actually found it quite frustrating not being able to do other things at the same time and then having to wait and things getting cold. So the great thing about the dual basket is being able to, um, you know, to, to do two different things at the same time. I hope that you have enjoyed this week's how-to. Let me know in the comments down below what else you'd like for me to show you with the air fryer or any other how-tos. I love hearing from you and thank you for watching and I will see you on Friday with um, this week's vlog.